You probably know what power is, and when we study physics, when we talk about power, we're talking about work done over time. So remember, the unit for work is joules, the unit for time is second, so now we have power, and the unit we use for power is watts, named for James Watt, the guy that invented the uh, locomotive engine, a lot of power in a steam engine, okay? So, the unit is watts, and uh, oftentimes when we're generating power, we're generating lots of power in like a, in, a, in a power plant or something. So we have some units that are quite common. And one of them is if we have a thousand watts, okay, and to, to simplify that, we can just call that a kilowatt, okay? Or sometimes we just abbreviate that little k, big W. But let's say we're generating even much more uh, power than that. Well, if we have maybe not a thousand, but let's go to the next unit, which is a million, which also equals 10 to the 6, or a 1 with six zeros behind it, okay? Well, the unit we use for that much power is a megawatt. And sometimes we'll abbreviate that big M, big W. So these are all units for power, megawatts, kilowatts, or just the regular watt. Okay, let's look at some examples that you might ask to be solved uh, involving power and its relationship to work over time. Okay, um, let's say for example, uh, you're pedaling your bicycle and you want to know how much power is required to exert 100 joules of work on a bike pedal for five seconds. Okay, so the formula again, power equals work over time. So this is a pretty straightforward problem. We're gonna, our, our work is 100 joules. Our time is five seconds, or I'm just going to abbreviate that S, okay? And so our power here, five divided by, I'm sorry, 100 divided by five is going to equal 20, in this case, 20 watts. So 20 watts of power is required to exert that force, I'm sorry, that work on the pedal for that number of seconds. Uh, let's look at another example of where you're given um, a unit of power and you need to figure out how much work is involved in that. Again, uh, so let's say how much work is required to power a 40 watt light bulb for one minute. Okay, so here we're given the power unit, 40 watts, okay, but I want to know how much work is required to power it for one minute. Now remember here the unit is minutes and the unit we talked about for power is um, work per second. Okay, so let's remember that this is actually 60 seconds, all right? And then we just have to set up our problem. We've got 40 watts equals the work, x, over seconds, which is 60 seconds, okay? And again, to solve for x, I'm going to say x equals this number times this number, the number in the denominator times this number, which is going to equal 240. And in this case, the unit is watts. I'm sorry. Watts times seconds is going to give us our number in, um, in joules. And so these are two types of equations that you'd typically be asked to solve uh, involving power and its relationship to work.